Hi, welcome to Point of Power, my name is Matt. Um, this is a, just a, another quick video on um, something that someone asked me recently. Um, and it's all about uh, windowed pistons. So you see this piston, this is a windowed piston. You have these two little windows in the side of the skirt. Most pistons, or oh, not most pistons, but a lot of pistons don't. They just look like this. And um, I was asked what are the windows for and what do they do and what's the whole purpose. So as soon as I've got one sat here, I thought I'd just show you. So basically, <clears throat> on the bottom of your cylinder, um, the uh, the um, cylinder extrusion, I'll call it that, but um, the cylinder extrusion that comes out usually looks like this, but on these kind of pistons on the other side they have again another little window. So the way it works is, is as your engines increasing in RPM etc and la di da di da, when you, um, when the piston descends to the bottom dead centre and the exhaust port's open and the bottom is pretty much there, what happens is, is in a Piaggio engine at least, where the shelf is and all this, and I will um, do a full explanation of this later on, I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you. If this piston didn't have any windows in and was like this, this part of the inlet um, port, as it comes past your reeds, uh, through your reeds into the actual uh, into your crank casing, will be blocked off by the piston as it descends at bottom dead centre. Um, however, with these windows, what happens is, is you are now opening that so the air can and the air and fuel which to can still flow in, so it's not been restricted by the piston. That is pretty much it. Obviously, when it goes back up to the top, um, you don't have that effect because um, the piston's further up in the cylinder. Um, one negative thing about doing this is the fact that it weakens the piston ever so slightly, but then saying that the skirt shouldn't really contact the cylinder that much at all anyway. Um, some people are back in the 80s and all this, it used to widen these out or cut them themselves. Um, there's nothing really against that, it's just that you really have to tie, you, know, you have to you know, work out all your timing calculations etc to know how big the windows are. You can actually open these windows out so they've got a radius, small radius in the corner but they're a lot squarer so they are a lot bigger. But be careful if you ever do do this because you don't want to make these too thin otherwise the piston will break when it heats up. Um, so that's a quick explanation on uh, window pistons. Right, um, watch some of the other videos, check it out on Facebook and I'll see you in a bit.